Oh, now back to one of our top stories on this Sunday. Dan Coats expected to step down as director of national intelligence. That in the coming days. You know, reports have long said that at times he has been at odds with President Trump over issues such as Russia and the president's attacks on the uh, intelligence community of our country. Mr. Coates expected to be replaced by Texas Republican Congressman John Radcliffe, who was a staunch supporter of the president. Jeff Mason is here. He's White House reporter for Reuters. So, Jeff, uh, what do you think this development means? Well, it means a few different things, Eric. I mean, number one, it's uh, it's uh, the latest in the in the close cabinet officials who have left uh, President Trump's administration. I think it's kind of interesting that uh, Dan Coats has lasted as long as he has. There have certainly been tensions between him and the president for some time, dating back as at least as far as a year ago, uh, when the two men were giving sort of different uh, views about the threat of Russia. Uh, and Russia's involvement in the 2016 election. Was it seen uh, that the president was downplaying that and Coates, uh, you know, staunchly pushed back as well as yeah, in terms of yeah. the attacks on the intelligence community? That's spot on, yes. I mean, Dan Coates was defending the intelligence community and also making very clear that the intelligence community's intel uh, on the fact that Russia had, in fact, intervened in the 2016 election was accurate. Uh, and the president, of course, uh, cast doubt on that for some time. And uh, that's something that, that this then cabinet official stood up against. I also remember there being a, a particularly remarkable moment where Dan Coates was asked, I believe, by Andrea Mitchell, uh, of NBC about uh, the president's remark or at, at the time that he might invite uh, President Putin to come visit uh, the White House, and Dan Coates was not aware of that and said something to the, along the lines of, well, that would be special. That was an unguarded moment. Uh, yeah. Dan Coates has since uh -huh. then sort of kept a, a lower profile, yeah. but uh, that didn't go over well in the White House. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, he was suddenly you know, caught off guard on that. Uh, Coates uh, had been a respected uh, senator from Indiana. He had been an ambassador to Germany. Uh, you know, critics are going to say that this is the president trying to mold intelligence, uh, maybe going softer on Russia, uh, as well as maybe encouraging attacks on the intelligence community and having Ratcliffe, who's been a staunch supporter of his, uh, maybe doing his bidding over at the, the defense. Uh, what do you think about uh, that criticism? Well, Radcliffe has certainly shown in the last week that he will stand up for Trump's worldview, and that is not necessarily a worldview that Dan Coates always shared. It's always, it's also sort of remarkable or, or interesting, worth noting in any case, uh, that with Coates's expected departure, most of the sort of Republican establishment members of Trump's cabinet are now gone. Jim Mattis, of course, the former Secretary of Defense. Uh, left. Uh, Nikki Haley, uh, the former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, is gone. So with, with Coates uh, apparently on his way out, and we're reporting that as well, um, that's one less link to sort of the, the more traditional Republican uh, worldview and more people uh, around the president who are basically aligned with, with President Trump. Yeah, uh, 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 ironically, but uh, 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 Mr. Ratcliffe was on Sunday Morning Futures this morning with Maria Bartiromo. And I wanted to say in his defense that he does have national security experience. He was the uh, uh, chief of anti-terrorism at the Eastern District of Texas, and he was the acting U.S. attorney there uh, in the DOJ. Uh, and he, had, he was pretty tough on Robert Mueller during the questioning uh, supporting he President was. Trump. Let's play a little bit of the soundbite from this morning's interview with Maria in which uh, Congressman John Ratcliffe uh, did not give any indication that he may have a big job in the offing, but this is what he said. What I do know as a former federal prosecutor is it does appear that there were crimes committed during the Obama administration. You talked earlier about Michael Flynn. His phone call with the Russian ambassador was a highly classified NSA intercept. Someone in the Obama administration leaked that call to the Washington Post. That's a felony. Um, Glenn Simpson from Fusion GPS, in talking about the Steele dossier, said under oath that he and Bruce Orr did not meet until after the election. Bruce Orr said under oath that they met three months before the election. One of them is not telling the truth. So he's really defending the president. And now, uh, Jeff, breaking news, we have it from the president himself in his Twitter. Let me read it. Quote, I am pleased to announce that highly respected Congressman John Ratcliffe of Texas will be nominated by me to be the director of national intelligence, a former U.S. attorney. John will lead and inspire greatness for the country he loves. Dan Coates, the current director, will. Then we have to get to the next tweet. We have and to wait for the, for the we, follow -up. we got to wait for the next tweet. So, uh... Your thoughts? 
Well, I think, uh, you know, so that confirms, obviously, what many of us have been reporting uh, about this move. Uh, it also, I have to chuckle, I mean, it's, it's I think the president uh, doesn't like to be scooped necessarily on his own personnel moves. And so the fact that uh, these reports were coming out, clearly he, he wants to be sure and be the one to confirm that. So it's confirmed. Um, it does sort of put to rest uh, a long question mark over Dan Coates' tenure, as we were saying earlier. Um, he has not always been somebody who the president has been especially fond of in terms of uh, how the two of them differed with regard to the issues that we were talking about earlier, especially uh, on Russia, but also other areas of intelligence, including Iran and North Korea. So the president now bringing in uh, much more of a loyalist. We'll see if maybe that follow-up tweet makes clear when exactly the handover is going to happen. Yeah, we have it. We have it right here now. Uh, it, it, it says that Mr. Coach will be leaving on August 15th. So he still has some go. time. He said, I would like to thank Dan for his great service to our country. The acting director will be named shortly, so they'll have an acting director before Ratcliffe uh, moves over. Uh, Ratcliffe is also one of the more, most conservative members of Congress, especially from Texas. So do you think, uh, even despite some maybe differences uh, in policy that he potentially could have with Coates, there won't be that much of a difference, that he will be tough? on the threats that this country face and our adversaries and in this do you have confidence and do you think Washington will have confidence in Ratcliffe as the new director of the DNI well I I mean it I can't say whether I have confidence Eric but I, I think that whether Washington has confidence will be the subject of the hearings that come up for when he when he goes before Congress for confirmation and that's the reason no doubt that the president will have a an acting uh, DNI in the meantime, because he may face some some tough questioning, and he may have a tough time getting confirmed if there, are, you know, if if some people in the Senate uh, are not convinced that he would be strong enough in this area. That said, it's uh, the president's prerogative to choose the people that he wants advising him, and uh, for the for the most part, I think we've seen uh, certainly over the last few years that Republicans, uh, in most cases on the Hill, are happy to support their president on on, on things like this. Jeff Mason, always insightful. Uh, Jeff, thank you for joining us this afternoon Thanks as we uh, tell the news that uh, DNI uh, Chief Dan Coates uh, will be replaced by Texas Congressman John Ratcliffe on August 15th.